Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss general equation of the hyperbola in standard form. So, ano ba yung general equation natin? This is ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0. Tapos yung standard form naman natin, itong apat na ito. So, ang goal natin dito, mula sa general equation, gagawin natin ganito. Na naka-standard form. So, alin man dito sa apat. So, yan yung uh, gagawin natin. Ita, uh, itra-transform natin yung general equation natin into standard form of the equation of a hyperbola. Okay, for number 1, we have 4x squared minus 25y squared minus 24x is equal to 64. So, yung unang gagawin natin class dito, pagsamahin natin yung may kaparehong variable. So, kagaya ni 4x squared at ni negative 24x, may pareho silang x. So, pagsasamahin natin. And then, yung constant natin, dapat ilipat natin yan sa right side. Since sa example number 1 natin, yung constant natin ay nasa right side na, so wala na tayong ililipat na constant. So, ang next natin gagawin, so pagsasamahin natin yung kapareho yung variable, and then, ang gagawin natin, dito dapat class, ang maiwan lang dito sa loob, x squared. So, since itong dalawa ay mapafactor natin, so, i-divide natin itong dalawa sa 4. So, si 4x squared minus 24x, i-divide natin kay 4. So, 4x squared divide 4, ang maiwan na lang doon, x squared. Kasi makakancel na yung 4, di ba? So, negative 24x divide 4, that is negative 6x. Copy negative 25y squared is equal to 64. After nyan, so itong x squared minus 6x class, gagawin natin perfect squared trinomial. So, paano natin, ga paano natin gagawin yun? By completing the square. So, using the completing the square, ang ginagawa sa completing the square, itong coefficient ng linear term natin, which is negative 6, i-divide natin kay 2. And then, pagka-divide, negative, divide 2, the answer is negative 3, yung sagot doon is squared natin. So, negative 3 times negative 3, the answer is positive 9. So, itong 9 yung idadagdag natin dito para maging perfect squared trinomial ito. Okay, so yan na, 4 times the quantity of x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 25y squared is equal to 64 plus 36. So saan galing ngayon yung 36? Since nagdagdag tayo ng 9 dito, so ganun din dun sa kabila. Bakit siya 36? Since meron tayong 4 dun sa uh, labas, so minultiply muna natin. So 9 times 4 is equal to 36. So, yun ang idadagdag natin. So, tatandaan natin kapag uh, nagdagdag tayo dito, magdadagdag din tayo dun sa kabilang side. Yun nga lang, titingnan natin, baka meron pang number dito, multiply din natin. After natin gawing perfect square trinomial, gagawin natin square of binomial. So, paano natin gawing square of binomial ito? So, kung ano yung dinivide natin, ano yung naging sagot? Negative 3, di ba? So, ganun lang din. Ilalagay niyo yan x minus 3, yun yung shortcut. So, tata, kung ano yung sagot nyo diyan yun yung sagot dito. So, para maging square of binomial. So, x minus 3 squared, kasi pag minultiply natin ito, yung x minus 3 times x minus 3, ang magiging sagot x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, kapag minus yung sign dito, so minus din dapat ang gagamitin nyo. So, 4 times the quantity of x minus 3 squared minus 25y squared is equal to 100. So, hindi pa tayo tapos kasi kailangan maging ganito yung equation natin. So, yung next natin gagawin, so, napansin nyo lahat equal sa 1, dapat mag-equal sa 1 yung nasa right side natin. So, ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin both side ng equation by 100 para maging 1 ito. So, kung... Uh, dito, pwede pa natin i-lowest term. Yung 4 divide 100, so magiging 1 over 25. And then yung 25 divide 100, so i-lowest term natin yan, so 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. So ano na lang may iwan dito? May iwan na lang dyan, yung x minus 3 squared over 25 minus 
y squared over 4 is equal to 1. So, naka-standard equation na. Na sa standard form na itong general equation natin. So, from 4x squared minus 25y squared minus 24x is equal to 64. Okay, ito na yung standard form niya. The quantity of x minus 3 squared over 25 minus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. Another example, we have 3x squared minus y squared plus 18x plus 4y is equal to negative 35. So, kagaya na nabanggit ko kanina, kailang pagsamahin natin Yung susunod natin gagawin, pagsasamahin natin yung pareho yung variable. So, ang pagkapareho dito is yung 3x squared, saka yung 18x. Minus y squared, saka yung 4y. Bakit naging negative yung dito? Kasi class, pag uh, nilagyan natin ng open close parenthesis to, group natin. Kapag uh, nilagay natin dito positive, pag pinarform natin yung negative times positive, Negative yung sagot. So, magmamali tayo pag binalik natin yung equation natin ng ganito. So, magiging negative siya. Bakit? Kasi negative times negative, that is positive. Okay? Is equal to negative 35. So, sa case na ito, uh, nandito na sa right side yung constant natin. So, hindi na natin kailangan ilipat. Next. After nito, anong sunod natin gagawin? Apply completing the square para maging perfect square trinomial ito. Alright? So, ito pwede na. Pero ito, hindi pa kasi meron pa tayong 3 dito na coefficient. So, kailangan x squared lang maiwan. So, ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin si 3x squared plus 18x divide it by 3. So, 3x squared divide by 3. So, the answer is x squared plus 18x divide 3, the answer is 6x minus, copy lang natin ito, is equal to negative 35. Since pareho na sila, pwede na natin i-apply yung completing the square para maging perfect square trinomial itong dalawa na to. Okay, so paano ulit yun? 6 divide 2, so kung ano yung linear term natin, i-divide lang natin kay 2, yung coefficient ng linear term natin, so the answer is 3's. So, 3 squared is equal to 9. So, dadagdagan natin ito ng 9. Dito naman, negative 4 divide 2, the answer is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. So, dadagdagan natin ito ng positive 4. Next. So, again, nadagdagan natin ng 9. Dito naman, positive 4. Is equal to negative 35 plus 27. Saan galing yung 27? Dito yan, 9 times 3 Yun yung 27. And then, minus 4. Bakit minus 4? Kasi negative yung sign natin dito. So, that is negative 1 times 4, negative 4. And then, perform now the operation. And then, gawin natin itong square of binomial. So, paano natin ulit itong gawing square of binomial? So, that is 3. Since yung divide natin, ang sagot ay 3. Then, positive to. So, x plus 3 squared. Minus, this is negative 2. So, y minus 2 squared is equal to negative 12. Thir negative 35 plus 27 minus 4 is negative 12. Ang susunod natin gagawin, kailangan maging positive 1 yung nandito sa right side. So, i-divide both equation by negative 12. So, 3 over negative 12 minus uh, 3 times the quantity of x plus 3 squared Divided by negative 12 minus y minus 2 squared over negative 12 is equal to negative 12 divided negative 12. This is 1. So, ito pwede natin i lowest term to. Ito magiging 1, ito negative 4. And then, ito magiging 1 na. So, magiging sagot natin, since negative 1 port ito, so ilagay natin yung negative sa gitna. So, x plus 3 squared over 4 plus... Okay, bakit naging plus na? Kasi di ba negative ito, tapos may negative pa dayo. Negative divide negative, positive. So, kaya naging positive na siya. Y minus 2 over 12 is equal to 1. Ngayon class, negative kasi yung nasa unahan natin. So, ipagpalit na lang natin ang pwesto para uh, hindi negative yung nasa unahan natin. Or pwede, na rin, pwede rin naman na ito, yung sagot natin. Okay, yun nga lang. So, ito ay... Uh, kailangan dito, di ba? Sa standard form natin, so positive yung mga sa unahan. So, ang pagpalit na lang natin. Or, sabi ko nga, pwede rin naman na ito na. 
So, pagpalitan na natin para ito ay positive yung y minus 2 squared. So, pag pinagpalit natin, ito yung mauna. y minus 2 squared over 12 minus x plus, 2, uh, x plus 3 squared over 4 is equal to 1. Okay? Next example. x squared minus 4y squared plus 8x minus 16y minus 36 is equal to 0. So, x squared plus 8x, magkasama na sila, minus 4y squared. So, negative ito. So, kapag linoop natin, that is negative 4y squared plus negative 16y divide negative. So, that is positive. So, magiging positive yung 16y natin. And then, yung negative 36 natin, ililipat natin itong constant natin sa right side. Kaya magiging positive 36 na siya dito. And then, so ito uh, hindi na kailangan may i-divide dyan. So, ito na lang, ipa-factor natin kasi may kasamang 4 yung y squared natin. So, copy x squared plus 8x minus, so itong 4y squared plus 16y, i-divide natin kay 4. So, 4y squared divide 4, so y squared na lang. 16y divide 4, the answer is positive 4y is equal to 36. And then, using completing the square para maging perfect square trinomial ito, i-divide natin yung 8 kay 2. 8 divide 2, that is 4. 4 times 4, the answer is 16. Dito naman, si 4, i-divide natin kay 2. 4 divide 2, that is 2. 2 times 2, the answer is 4. So, magiging x squared plus 8x plus 16. So, nadagdagan natin ng 16 minus 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 4. So, dinagdagan natin ng 4 is equal to 36 plus 16. Ito yung 16 na yun. Minus 16. Bakit minus? Kasi negative yun nandito. Negative 4 times 4, that is negative 16. And then, gawin natin square of binomial, x plus 4 squared. Kasi positive ito. Tapos, nung dinivide natin, the answer is 4. Okay, x plus 4. Minus 4, y times uh, the quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 36. Kasi maka-cancel na natin to 16 minus 16, so 36 na lang ang maiwan. So, ang goal natin, kailangan maging positive 1 yung nasa right side. So, i-divide natin both side ng equation natin by 36. So, ito wala naman tayong malulowest term. As is yung dito, meron. So, yung 4 and 36, so that is 1 and 9. Yung 36 divide 36, 1 na yan. So, ang maging sagot na natin, yung standard form natin ay the quantity of x plus 4 squared over 36 minus the quantity of y plus 2 squared over 9 is equal to 1. Okay, so yan ay magiging sagot natin. O, nadoble lang. Next, number 4. 16x squared plus 9y squared plus 36y is equal to 64x plus 44. So, kung mapapansin nyo class, yung 64x natin nandito sa right side. So, kailangan natin ilipat yan dito sa left side kasi kailangan magkasama sila ng 16x squared. So, pag pinagsama natin, that is 16x squared minus 64x. So, mula dito sa right side, nilipat natin kaya naging negative. Plus 9y squared plus 36y is equal to 44. So, pagsasamay natin yung pareho yung variable, so 16x squared minus 64x plus 9y squared plus 36y is equal to 44. So, both dito, yung both terms natin ay hindi pa natin magagawang perfect square trinomial kasi meron silang mga kasama. So, i-divide muna natin ito. Yung 16x squared minus 64x, i-divide natin kay 16 para mag x squared na lang yung dito sa loob. Ganon din dito, yung 9y squared plus 36y, i-divide din natin kay 9 para y squared na lang yung maiiwan sa loob. So, 16x squared divide 16, the answer is x squared. Negative 64x divide 16, the answer is negative 4x plus 9y squared divide 9, y squared na lang, plus... 36y divide 9, the answer is 4y is equal to 44. And then, by completing the square, okay, so, para maging perfect square trinomial ito, so, negative 4 divide 2, the answer is negative 2. 
Negative 2 times negative 2, the answer is positive 4. Sa kabila naman, 4 divide 2, the answer is 2. 2 times 2, the answer is 4. So, dadagdagan natin dito ng positive 4. Ganon din dito. Magdadagdag din tayo ng positive 4. So, sa kabila, copy 44. So, six, kasi may 16 tayo sa labas. So, 16 times 4, dadagdagan natin ng 64. Ganon din dito. May 9 tayo sa labas. Times 4, that is 36. So, add natin lahat yan. The answer is 144. So, ginawa na natin square of binomial, yung x squared minus 4x plus 4 to x minus 2 squared. So, again, yung square of binomial, kapag minultiply natin ito, babalik tayo sa ganitong uh, ano, sagot natin. No? Yung x minus 2 squared, babalik tayo sa sagot na x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then, plus 9, the quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 144. So, since meron tayong 144, kailangan 1 yung nandito, hindi divide natin both side ng equation natin ng 144. So, ito, malulowest term natin yan by 1, 9. And then, ito, 9 saka 144, 1 and 16. So, ang matitira na lang is x minus 2 squared over 9 plus y plus 2 squared over 16 is equal to 1. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.